Let's see, we're good. We're live. I will refresh. We gotta make sure you can see us. Make sure you can hear us before we start. Oh, Nothing yet. Oh, it's oh, trying. Yeah. Oh, there you go. It's. <laughs> hey, at least we know it's working. Right, right. All right, we're good. I think we are. All right, B is here. What's up, guys? Man, everybody's out here already. Thirty-five people. I know they were. Uh, they want to see what kind of stores are opening up. What are the updates? What's happening? Uh, let me see who's here. Jaden, Jimmy, Aiden, Felicia, Days King, Angel, Josh Brown, Smart Money, says Marilyn here. Menace and True Win, my boy Texas Pete, Armand, and 168 Aloha. Flipping the Hustle, Victor S, Sal, and Astro Drip, Dapper Fanatic, Mr. More Mo, Victor S, Divisor, District Deals. Keep going down. Man, this thing kind of froze a little bit. All right. Mimi, Victor, Baker Brand, Omar, Manny Fresh, Ice Pack, Maximo, and Barry, Victor S, Hustle and Silence. What's up? And Patrick and Ross Shellington, Ecom Lifestyle, Zombries, Move Selling, JMR, and Middle M, Landon, and more people coming in. Javier and what Fabian and Hawaii Rams fan? All right, more people coming in. So man, everybody's here, man. I, feel I know like everybody woke up. Everybody's ready. El Gronk, Zach Hustle and Muscle, and extra grand stone builder. All we need is oh the Barry. All we need is Stevie D. And uh, where's Jake? I don't see Jake either. There. So there's two that are missing. We'll see if they end up showing up. We're gonna start off slow because people don't usually come in to like you know ten minutes in. Then we'll start what stores are going to open up. So here's our little opening segment. I want to see what B thinks about this. So <laughs> this came out today, right? New York. And so the governor came out with this saying he was shocked that most new hospitalizations are people who had been staying home. So, so he's trying to say don't stay home? <laughs> I don't know. Here's so who's getting hospitalized, and they did a little percentage thing here. So eight percent other nursing home, eighteen percent staying at home, sixty six percent. So, <laughs> oh, what's going on here? I think this whole thing is just a mess. Like I don't even know what to what to think about anything anymore. Uh, let's see what the chat says. <laughs> Let's see. Need to hear Glenn's smooth, buttery Latin voice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Fire the governor. Well, I guess I'm going outside now. From Barry. Uh, being home is lowering the immune system. Time to get back to work from zombies. Uh, bruh. <laughs> yo. Comes a joke. Shake my head. The whole virus stuff is a lie. Uh, why did I move to New York from Barry? Um, all the people who got it oh, who didn't stay at home already got admitted. Uh, it's peach sweet tea. Oh, wait, you're drinking? Let's see, that's the facts. Yeah, this, I don't know anymore. Like, And here's the thing. Stores, yes, are opening. But I have noticed, too, is it's like everyone has – everyone's against each other to where, like, if you stay home, it's like, uh, you're scared, you're a little soft. And then if you do go somewhere, it's like, man, you're selfish. You're endangering everybody. I hope you get it. Right. So you're like, well, where, where, where do you go from there? You have to think for yourself. You have to make decisions for yourself. Either you want to go or you don't. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, like at this point, everybody's just, I guess a lot of it is just, you know, tired of everything. Um, but at the end of the day, Here's my point of view. Like at the end of the day, I'm I'm not really gonna go out until the stores are really open because where am I gonna go? <laughs> like, like all like you know like like what I really like about this is it has really simplified simplified life. Hmm. So so it's either when I go out, I go out with a purpose. I go grocery shopping. I drop the mail. And if the stores are open, you know, I'm probably going to be there, you know, not, I'm probably not going to try to be there the first, you know, make it, you know, let it, let it simmer through, uh, you know, just, just weigh out the risk. And then beyond that, 
I'm cool with the barbershops close. I'm cool with everybody close. Like, it's their problem. And the, you know, sad part is like, apparently it's the government's fault. I mean, whatever. <laughs> you know, uh, it, we, we can't control everything unless your uncle is, you know, a senator. We really can't do anything about it. <laughs> Stevie D. And let's see. Wait, what happened to Stevie D's soundbite? Oh, man, it's late. Uh, let's see. B got to go get his beard paint. Hmm. Um, barbershops have already been open on Fort Bliss since last week. Oh, man. Uh, Hustler Hacks here from Texas. Right, I have a question. What's Chico's Tacos? That's a good question. Um, they are rolled tacos that go into a like a expired <laughs> tomato juice what? that they make. And they use government cheese, which is the best. And it's been closed since the virus hit. <laughs> when B comes to El Paso, he'll try it. So he'll see for himself. We'll see. All right. So here's here's the thing. Texas barbershops, all this stuff are opening. Tanning salons. Gyms will open. And so great state of Texas. They're going and let's we'll see what they decide to do. So should I get a haircut? Will I get a haircut? I do not know. I might just leave it and see what happens. Yeah. Um, Chico's cash only. Damn right. All they do is take cash, can lie cash in your numbers, only? do what you want. Yeah, cash only. They know how to do it. Oh, man. All right, here's the main news. Why you're here. Now we got 137 people. All right. We're starting off with Burlington. Right now, Burlington, Ross, Marshalls, and Nike Outlet are all opening somewhere, some places, in limited time. We're going to go through all of them. So Burlington, and you go to their website right now. This is what they're talking about, how things will change when they're going to open. So we expect our stores to open in phases as local government guidelines allow with the first wave of stores to reopen on or about May 11th, 2020. So five days. You got to double and triple check the website to see if you will be opening up in your area. Also could be a little bit later, maybe mid-May. So double check. So here's some of the changes they're going to be making uh, for Burlington and very important steps to ensure everyone's safety and well-being. Signage to remind customers and associates to practice social distancing and remain at least six feet apart. One way entrances and exits at the front. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. No one ever like pays attention to any signs. Like I've seen, I've seen entrance. I've seen people just like wait there. Right. Like, Why isn't it opening? And then like, it's oh, a it's the other one. <laughs> uh, wider checkout lanes yeah. with social distancing markers on the floor and increased space at each register between customers and associates. Wow. In addition, we'll take proactive steps to routinely clean and disinfect all areas of the store, frequently cleaning high touch areas, providing sanitation, uh, sanitization materials throughout the store, making shopping cart wipes available and all the other stuff. Um, high touch areas. Well, what would be an example of that? Shoes. <laughs> Shoes. <Bart. laughs> I think here's the thing though. Going to the registers, we know Burlington never has enough people. Period. Right. Like the line's always long. So oh, I can mm -hmm. already see it. <laughs> I can already see it. So I wonder what's gonna happen for this one. Uh, shoot to kill him late, but I'm here now. Uh, they better open mine from Jose. Uh, let's see. Be safe to handle Reeboks without gloves. Middle M also says shoes. When are they going to open? So reopen on or about May 11, 2020 in certain areas. They will um, be opening in phases. Well, here's the thing, right? Like we talk about, you know, economics, about how people have sti still have money, right? I think I think it could be a mayhem because people were receiving unemployment plus six hundred and everything like that in you know the first two months. Yeah, that's true. That's gonna be scary. <laughs> uh, the chat says in El Paso are they opening? So I don't know yet. But being in Texas, I would because uh, right now they're going with like what kind of states are allowing stores to open. Right. So we might. We might not. Maybe only one Burlington will open. I don't know. Smooth Sailing, $10. Best show on YouTube other than Stevie D TV. Stevie D. Wow. Uh, there we go. 
Uh, Maxwell says B has a point. Uh, some cookies, man. Oh, uh, there we go. Man, they, that, all these things are stressing me out. That's why I got this right by it. Yeah, that's that's this, what this I like. The fun part. Yeah, you gotta get those chunkies. All right, next one. Marshalls. Now, Marshalls is kind of weird because they're they've been saying this on their website even the last couple of days. Certain Marshall stores are open. Please click here for the status and hours of a store near you. Now I put in random zip codes. I kept trying to see what is open and I could only find South Carolina at this point. And not only that, only a few of them. So these two in Columbia. Now they have a, we will hold dedicated shopping hours every Monday through Saturday from 10 to 11 a.m. and Sunday from 11 to 12 p.m. for seniors 60 plus and those who are at greater risk. So that's a new uh, rule for Marshalls. Will they implement that when they reopen everywhere? Maybe, maybe not. But their hours are uh, 11 to 7. So those are the only two, at least that I could see, that maybe are open. Man, somebody's in the chat. So, <laughs> a relentless resale. Relentless? Oh, my. Uh, relentless resale. We need this to this. guy on. What's, what's that guy doing? <laughs> Relentless resale is in the house. Um, let's see if he. Uh, let's see what else. What does he have going on? Uh, Spartanburg, South Carolina, two is also open from Tyler. Uh, let me see who else is open right now. Let's see, Sam says I, guess I know where I'm going. Everybody, uh, go to South Carolina if you can. Uh, the big one says I hope some thick girls out shopping. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> everybody gonna be thick after this quarantine. Oh, uh, yeah, everybody's gonna be thick after this. Uh, finish line is open, days king. Uh, let's see, <laughs> TJ Maxx and Spartan Break had hella long line today. Oh man, oh, they open already. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. Um, and Mercurial Venom, yes, Core Purple restock again today, which is wild. All right, next one. Ross, which some people have been asking, what's going on here? Now, I got this from Nacho's group, so shout out to him. They posted this on there that uh, they're preparing to open some of our stores later this month. So you got to, I guess, kind of call, go on the website, see what's going on. Um, now, they say here, some of the implementing many new safety protocols in response to the virus and we will take associates' temperatures at the start of shifts. They're serious up in here. Uh, provide them with protective equipment, such as face coverings and gloves. Supply hand sanitizer for both associates and customer use. We'll also be implementing additional cleaning practices, especially in high-touch areas. There's that word again, or words. High-touch areas. Yeah. Finally, to enable social distancing, we'll meter traffic into our stores, widen and create one-way aisles, which no one listens and actually pays attention to that, and install plexiglass separations at checkout. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> so after our first wave of store openings, we will open additional stores when it is safe to do so. We also... We're also working on plans to open our distribution centers and corporate and buying offices at the right time. Mm. So they're not buying yet. So everything that you, you're going to be seeing is going to be the dookie ones. <laughs> it's going to be the same stuff that's been there collecting dust for the last month and a half. Maybe. Uh, let me see what the chat says. Shoe aisle is going to be packed. Ross carried that Lysol spray. Stay Lysol strapped from Patrick. Uh, let's see. I've been binge watching Jake's videos, Middle M. There we go, Jake. Where is Jake? I don't know. Caroline, I'm setting up my Fitbit. Um, I saw one way arrows at Walmart. Good idea. I oh, did see yeah, that. One. I saw that one. That was annoying because next thing you know, you, I was in the aisle and he says, Do not enter. I was like, What? <laughs> <laughs> so is shoe aisle going to be one way? Yeah, now it feels like Ikea. You know how they have arrows, how where to go and everything like that? Like, that was that was whack. Days King says, is it just me or do I just care about Nike and Adidas outlet? Uh, oh, it's going all in. We just want to see with Brandon with Box. Right, right. At this point, you know, everybody knew what's, what's sold in this first pandemic. We got to <laughs> get ready for the next one. 
But Ross, we're not done yet. Matter of fact, some of the news gets worse. Ross sued after apparently skipping out on 5.5 million in rent payments. What in the world? <laughs> You're gonna need more cookies for this. Man. Uh, so Ross being sued by one of its landlords in a filing in Florida district court yesterday. I mean, who forgets, my associates. Who forgets to collect 5.5 million in rent? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, just five point five million. Come on now. He had to wait for a pandemic. <laughs> exactly. It says Ross skipped out on rent payments due May first and has further advised that its non-payment of rent will continue as a result of the circumstances related to the virus. Yeah, the, the courts are closed, so too bad. Yeah, so it's like uh, they're like, what are you gonna do about it right now, really? Right. <laughs> Let's see what the chat says about this one. Days King, of course, in Florida. Felicia, it had to be Florida. You knew it had to be Florida. Where else? <laughs> Everything crazy in Florida. Uh, demand misinformation, what's up? Uh, you think they're going to replenish morning before opening from Patrick? I don't know. It's a good question. Ross tried to strong arm like Cheesecake Factory, Baker Brand. What? 5.5 million. Florida man. Just asked to shoot deals to donate money to Florida. Uh, so, yeah, not, we had good news and we had bad news. And we're going to see what Ross... Well, this is the, just a Florida one. So, Texas looks like we're good. All right. All right. Now, what you wanted to see. Nike outlet. This is the only Nike factory store. Two stores that will be reopening starting Friday, May 8th. Nike factory store in Little Rock, Arkansas. Now, anybody in the chat that wants to source for your boy Hustler Hacks and or Hustlebee, and you are in this area, please let me know. We'll see you uh, there. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, two outlets, no other ones in the US will be opening. Um, the Nike employee that I have been talking to does not know when the El Paso one will open. They have been getting calls, uh, at least from the managers, to see are they comfortable with coming back to work, how things will change. They just don't know when that date's going to be. But this one we do know for sure, uh, Nike Factory Store, Friday, May 8th. Uh, this is one of the outlets. There's two of them there. And they're also opening a couple of other stores. But really, Nike, that's what we care about the most. Uh, let's see. I'm booking a flight. Uh, E-Money says nobody. That's like a five-hour drive for me. No thanks, Josh Brown. Crickets yeah. right now, E-Money. Uh, let me see. Uh, El Paso yeah. outlets are open. They are open. Yeah, you would be surprised because we already look at the tickets. They ain't cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy a $2 Southwest ticket to Little Rock to Source. Uh, back yeah. in the uh, plane. Road trip. Yep, nine hours away from me. I thought about that. I'm still thinking about it. I might see you there. Yes, so me and Ken both thought about it. And here's Ken's drive, nine hours and 50 minutes, the long way. You can get it, cut it down to nine hours, 20 minutes. For me, it would be about 14 hours. Uh, so uh, so if it says nine and a half hours, I'd be there in eight. <laughs> so a good eight hours. <laughs> there you go, Cincinnati all the way down. You can stop in Memphis or... Yeah, to do what? To wait, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And hey, get there, and the next thing you know, it's going to be all Air Max 720 for one twenty nine ninety nine. I know. That's that's the thing we're thinking about. So what if you get there, and they're like, you know what? There is no back wall sale. Everything's the same. Nothing else going on. <laughs> You're making that drive for nothing. I could see that happening though, especially right. for being the first weekend they're going to be open. Yeah. Not only that, you got to drive back and quarantine yourself for 14 days. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you went to different cities. Who knows or, where you went? Or, or get caught. You know, for some reason, you're crossing through different cities and states that have some different rules and get caught and have an Ohio license. Like, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, hey, there. What are you doing here in my land? <laughs> oh crap! Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> do it for the culture to go and record. Dude, I I would have done that if 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 I'm if I'm not risking my life. <laughs> uh, not from the pandemic, maybe from the murder hornets, or maybe from the cops. There's always something out there. There's gonna like what they're going to be selling nothing but those camel tailwinds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what if you get pulled over a cop ask you where you're going? You say driving 13 hours to a Nike outlet. <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> Just passing through. Right. <laughs> so sneaker finds 12, only 18 hours, 57 minutes away. So nobody in the chat, uh, at least that we know of is anywhere near little rock. And that's the only store we know of right now that will be opening. So that is your update for what stores are opening. So pay attention in your area. More than likely, Burlington is going to hit first. The bad thing is a lot of the Burlington fines were pretty crappy before the virus started. So it, this might be a little slower to maybe kind of build up a little bit. And then Ross, maybe mid-May. Marshalls, I have no clue. Yeah. Just sticking to like South Carolina. We had the stores in June. Yeah, probably in June. So here's my question. Should Hustler Hogs start in June? If only certain states can do it. I mean, we'll get tagged on photos. Maybe uh, better your odds at winning. For sure. You can tell me in the chat. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Let's see. Middle M says yes. Smooth sailing, yes. They want to get it going. All right, so let's get into the uh, eBay solds. And uh, first one, this one, Nintendo 64 Air Max 97. Uh, paid way too much for this one at $70. I was really surprised, but I was also glad that someone did buy them because they had none of those laces. They come with like 20 pairs of laces. I had none. And they were uh, size 7. Yeah, oh, I know you brought that. Yeah, I know. It was luckily made 40 bucks ROI over 50 something percent. I got um I ordered like four pairs of those from the finish line when they first had sale. And I've never had any orders canceled from finish line, and it was all four of those. <laughs> of course it was. Right. Yeah, 65 bucks uh plus tax, 7036 with no box. Very questionable, <laughs> but at least they sold. So, hey, Mr. Eric, why did you sell your size nine already? Should have hit me up. How much do you sell it for? <laughs> uh, next one, we had Air Max 98 metallic silver. Uh, the thing is, too, I sold two of these today, um, so that kind of helped. But this one, uh, was a, I think like a week or two, maybe like a week ago, I think. Uh, paid $40. This was like a back wall thing, um, size 10. Sold for 120 So this one we made pretty good money over $60. So that one was good. Next one, Air Force One Premium. You guys remember this one from Ross? Has like that jelly Nike swoosh on yeah, here. For some reason, Air, white Air Force Ones go for a lot now. Yeah, people, uh, especially well, the all white ones. Yeah, this one kind of took a while. I got a lot of like lowball offers. Uh, we made close to 50 bucks. But I was also happy to get rid of these two because I don't know. I really don't. I wasn't really feeling these, but somebody was. Would you rock these? No. Like, no. <laughs> no. Like, how dare you ask? Right, right, exactly. But they're actually like, you know, like the the TikTok girls wear those. <laughs> uh, oh. Next one. Oh, uh, yeah. We sold these for 200 Um, And I sold the white one for 250 So that one. I think that one I'll do for next week because this one kind of catch up. Where'd you get this? Uh, this is from Ross. Oh, they wow. were, I think they were thirty four ninety nine. So I think with tax, it came out to thirty seven eighty seven. Yeah, I think you undersold this. Yeah, <laughs> with tax, it came out to two sixteen fifty, and we made a uh, hundred and thirty eight bucks. What was like the solds on this one? Was it around that? Uh... Um, there was some solds. That's a good question. Because when I first listed them, there was some at 190 mm -hmm. And then, but there wasn't too many at all. There's like one that looks like this, but right. has a different style. Mm -hmm. um, so I did. I went with 250 And then I did have someone buy it before they, yeah, they bought it, but never paid. 
mm-hmm. then I relisted it. Then this one finally, like weeks later. So yeah, Cause, uh, yeah, because from for some reason, like like there's like you know just looking at souls and everything like that. When I when I look at comps, like I don't know for some reason, like all this like rare colorways came out of Ross, and then they they suffer really high. Yeah, so I'm, I guess kind of like the yeah different designs and colorways and models things like that. Oh, know what to flip it? Oh. The reselling thing has just become you know clout chasing and who finds the best stuff. And last one, remember these jeans? <laughs> yeah, bro, you finally listed them. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did this is so they came back four times. What? On return. <laughs> they came back four times. And this is the third time they sold, and they took a best offer. They returned them, relisted them, and they sold again, this time for the full price, and they haven't returned them yet. Now, yeah. there's still time. <laughs> that, that might... Please don't return them. Yeah, during the pandemic, they got 60 days to return it. What you talking about? Uh, well, yeah, you just jinked yourself for putting it up here. Uh, hopefully not. Yeah, uh, yeah this... This... I, um, this were solid buys, though, but, but yeah, we just found a few of those jeans this week, and we just listed them. <laughs> <laughs> you probably undercut me, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one... And I was so happy too, like the first time they sold, and I was like, Yeah, I get these jeans out of here. They're all selling for about a hundred and then came back and then came back again. And then so hopefully this is it. And then yeah. we'll be done. So four, four four returns is the record. <laughs> it's a record. Let's see what uh what else we got? Jake. I would return the last day, hopefully not. Four times that profit really zero with all the free returns. Laugh out loud. I know, right? By the time all of the returns that came back, this profit should be a lot less. Glenn, might as well wear them. <laughs> <laughs> might as well just rock them. All right, now we're getting into weekend releases. Where's Jake for the Iversons? Uh, so, Reebok Question Low Oatmeal comes out tomorrow, May 7th, $120. Oatmeal colorway of the Reebok Question Low returns for the first time this week. Low top version. Smash. Or pass on any of the or the on this Iverson. Let me see. Jake's gonna backdoor all the pairs. Uh, drop. <laughs> Let me see. I don't mean this one. Didn't the other Iverson come out where you could like change the uh, toe? Like yeah, like toe bronze. And, oh yeah, something like that. You know, like yeah. it kind of like wears out. Yeah, I don't think they. I don't think they sold out or anything like that. They kept restocking. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to buy my grandpa a pair. Pass. Will in the house. Post Jake Malone White Iverson. <laughs> uh, add some milk and I'll take it. Pass. Oatmeal. Meh. And I uh, know what to flip it. So, All right. Next one. Adidas 4D Run 1.0. Man. And $200. Comes on Friday, May 8th. They just all look the same to me. <laughs> Adidas is set to cap off its uh, inaugural 4D week celebration with a new colorway of the 4D1 1.0. Smash or pass. Suit to kill. Trash. Um, are you sad that we're showing Adidas on here? Yeah, 100%. That, that doesn't have any room for a channel. <laughs> Thumbs down. No Might man well. just no pass. Might as well eat a chocolate. <laughs> no <good. laughs> There you go. Hershey's Nuggets. Pass. Garbage. Back wall. I'll pick up at Ross. Pass and pass. Next one. Look at these oh. new battles. Oh, my word. I like some, like, what's that, like, arts and crafts quarantine release or something like that? <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> 110. And come out on Saturday, May 9th. Uh, is this a shoe you could see showing up at uh, Burlington? For sure. Pass, pass, pass. Oh, man. Let's see. Let's see on here. Bright yellow hits are used in a large N logos. Heel, panel, and midsole. Let's see. Pass, pass. Ross Fine in Burlington. Pass. Wow, that's bad. Pass. 
Well, you can take a break because there's only one really uh, find you really need and pickup that's coming out, which we already know what they're all about since we got a nice little drop already. Oh, but now yeah. more of them coming out. So here's the real question. How many of them are out there and how many restocks will we see? What do you think? A lot. I think there's going to be a lot of this. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping that the numbers are going to be like court purples um, because uh, I'm going to put my stimulus money on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to buy as much as I can and, and hold on to it till December. Okay. Still waiting on my Nike early release to ship these DVD. Yep. Um, mine just shipped last night. Um, so they're taking forever, but but from what I've been seeing, the quality's been really good. Um, I saw it on Twitter, people already uh found those. So um yeah, like I said, um I think this is the next, you know, red toe. I mean, I'm not a big blue fan, so I guess this is the shoe for me to hoard because I'm not gonna end up keeping them. Oh, that would say Astro Drip says cop hold and sell in 2021. What do you think? Oh, 100 percent agree. You, so you want to keep these for a whole year? You think they'll do well? Yeah, I think what well, for sure they will be a uh, good sizes are gonna be at 400 uh, by Christmas time. Oh, a nice little prediction. So during Christmas time, we're gonna replay this video. Right. I want to see if the B is correct. All right. Here's the thing, though. I think look to see once everybody gets them. I bet you StockX, some of them are going to be cheap. Yeah, that's, like, where, we, that's where we pounds. <laughs> I think it's going to be some pretty cheap ones. What's the most you would pay for these then? Uh, like, you can't get them at retail 170 250 max. Dang, you're willing to go in 250 already. Well, right now they're high. I mean, but I want to see what they are once they, we get, you know, many restocks coming in. So... Goat storage to death, DVD. Uh, let's see, one forty, twenty dollars. Uh, what about DMP? Should we return from Angel? Hundred percent. That's why I bought them. <laughs> I the return them to uh, for the employees to grab at their discount. Uh, apparently, the toe box is tumble leather. Yep, tumble leather for sure. Unlike the court purple, which is that plasticky feel. Oh, court purple is trash. I'm just holding on to it because I refuse to make 30 bucks on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Only GS for me, shoot to kill. Yes, look at... uh. Yeah, I mean, GS is like the new size 9 or size 8 and a half now. <laughs> it's harder to, uh, to buy kid size now than the, the small sizes in men's. <laughs> everybody figured it out already. It's because all of these like chicks and beauty influencers, all that stuff, oh, they're all yeah, rocking yeah. Jordans now. Yep, exactly. So, I was like, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> TikTok base, exactly. What does it say? Oh, TikTok base. <laughs> so, it was, here's a funny story. So, like, the wife, she's always into like the makeup stuff, and like, she has all these like, following all these like makeup girls, all this stuff on, on IG. She's like, a lot of these makeup girls now, they're all like on this on this site, like OnlyFans now. Like that's what they're doing. She's like, what, what's OnlyFans? And I'm like, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> let me shoot you my my link. <laughs> my link. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Here's your affiliate link. Affiliate link. Yeah. Like, the problem is that's what they're down to, because that's what they gotta do. Like it went from being like some sort of influencer to just like you know what, money's money. Yeah, we gotta make this happen. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Glenn's got it bookmark. <laughs> <laughs> bookmark. All right, here we go for. Oh, that was it. Dang. So we're it for uh, weekend releases. Well, all we have is one. <laughs> all right, here we go. Where are they now? Flood edition. Right. And we're going to go through them here on this thing first, and then we'll open up the eBay. It's a favorite, this is my favorite part right here because this is where we prove who got dookie. <laughs> got dookie. Okay, where are they now? Here we go. First one. Oh, I bought those. <laughs> <laughs> I bought those, but we'll be surprised on, on how many people pass on this. All right, in the chat, did you or did you not pick up 
Nike ACG Air Max Go Dome CDM flips and Martino finds. Oh, uh, took a photo of the lease. Stop. Sixty-five dollars, August twenty nineteen. Oh, middle pass. Let's see, cop pass. Laugh out loud, Patrick. Sold out, hustle and muscle. Hell no, from Jonathan. Never saw Josh Brown. So my pair on goat. Break you up, bought three and return them. <laughs> <laughs> Sold three pairs of those. Baker brand. Hell no. Who selling? Yes, and I return them. Man, y'all probably bought size 15 or something. <laughs> Let's see. True win. Bought two, return both. Relentless resale. Oh, I got he's, all still those. he's still here, Glenn. What an honor. He is still here. Yeah, what an honor. We're. I need a bow. Take a hey, bow. Bow hey, down. Uh, hi, Miss Mrs. Relentless. Bow. This because love well, ain't going anywhere without her now. Oh, he came back, as I said. Mrs. Sports LA sold five pairs. Never saw these. Relentless resale says sold them all on Posh. No, Relentless like the new Posh ambassador now or something. <laughs> all right, so go downs. We'll look at the listings. Next one. District deals, A7 resells with a Jordan 11 low oh. bread cleats at $20. Man, I will. Um, um, I never found these, unfortunately. November 2019. Man, of course, only district deals would find those. Of course. Uh, cop, cop, I never saw. More cops. Everybody wants a cop. Uh, cop all day, never found those, never saw those. Neither did I. Um, auto cops DVD, immediate cop. And found one, Maximo. So there we go. 20 bucks. We'll look at the listings. Next one. We're going old school. March 2019. March. You remember this shoe at Burlington? I don't know if you do. Yeah, I didn't touch them. Authentic athletic apparel and Ross Shallington. Adidas oh. NMD. No, 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 no. That's not, I thought it was. What was the other one? What was the other one? Uh, there was another one that's kind of like Parley. It was Parley. Oh, the Parley one. This okay. good. I've never seen this. So there's some sneakers and stuff. Data Mosh, forty five dollars, March twenty nineteen. Um, I never saw these damn things. DVD. Uh, let's see. If it was twenty nine, yes. Smash sold all three. Uh, sold three. One fifty to one seventy five each. Sneaker finds twelve. Sold all the Data Mosh. Ross Shallington. He's here. Oh. There we go. Man, no wonder why I couldn't find them. Everybody picking them up. <laughs> uh, and quickly, he said. All right, next one. This one, November 2019. Jim wow. and Ghost Collector, Kyrie Flytrap 2 Celtics. Mm. $40. Did you or did you not pick any of these up in the chat? Man, I didn't find them, but I probably would just because of how unique they are. Even though it's Celtics, he doesn't play for the Celtics anymore? Yeah, yeah. Because you know, <laughs> I think there's a, lot, a bunch of Celtics fans. All right. you know, and uh, there's a bunch of leprechauns, too. So There's a bunch of leprechauns out there. Yeah. Uh, never seen these. Smooth sailing. Way to go, Ross Shallington. Uh, Stevie D sold one of these for 130 on eBay. 130 for a fly trap. That's oh, Wow. So you never I saw mean, these. I mean, now if you look at it now, though, it's so much different without the fees. If you sell it for a hundred, true, right? If you sell it for a hundred, free ship, double your money out the door. And it's so much different without stores being open. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just want to cop everything, I guess. <laughs> Next one, we have Stevie D looking for thrifts and go steals and deals with the Ar Under Armour Project Rock Delta. Dark green only is what we're going to be looking at. $45. Oh, man, that's money for sure. August I, 2019. I'm not surprised if somebody sold it for like $150 to $200. We're going to see how many of them are listed right now. See yeah. how they've been selling. You know what, that might be our new look, you know, with the mask, with some, uh, you know, Camel pants, utility vest, and some, you know, all these pants and some rock shoes. Man, that might be my – and then maybe some face shield. True. Uh, I think you're ready like, to go. Man, we look like riot police, but, man, that's like the perfect shoe for it, though. You go ready for battle. For sure. All right, we'll look at those. Next one, November 2019. Oh. Whatever happened to these Flare Jordan 1 
Serena Williams that kind of racked up a little bit at TJ Maxx. Forty dollars. Ron twenty three sells. Deuce no morse remorse. I can't even read. Sneaky hustler and rich finds one. Did you cop any of these? Um. Well, did you I, see them? I found one, but there were like whack sizes. Like I think they were like size twelve or something like that. Mm. Uh, but uh, this one, I'm on the fence because I've seen one or two of this at outlets, and I don't know, like, uh, it's just it's just sad. It looks sad. It looks like a melted Jordan one. <laughs> melted, <laughs> disintegrating. You're right, you're right. Let's see. Never found, never saw these, passed on these, also had at the Nike outlet from Maximo. All right, we'll look at those listings. And next one, my boy Texas Pete and Collectibles Ooh. Beyond. LeBron 15 hey. Black History Month grade school, $40. Dude, I, I really think this is one of the best LeBron since uh, LeBron 10s. Very true. And That's I wonder how. Comfort and, you know, like performance. And the fly in it, very nice. 40 bucks. This is for kids. I do think people found this shoe brand new with box at Marshalls, I think. Yeah, yeah, they came out of Marshalls. So yeah. Okay. So 40 bucks for this one. And. Let me see. Do you remember the pink Serena Williams? Yes, I do. And I'm luckily I sold those and I didn't have any more. I didn't find any other ones though. I uh, never found those. Sold mine 150 for the LBJ smooth selling. Did not find all day cop. Most popular recent LeBron by a lot. Easy cop. Um, so there we go. I just watched the video today with the pink Serena. There we go. Kicks for, for the soul. And this is the last one, I think. Last one, Foam Posit Habanero Red, Stevie D, Cuttles Beyond, Super 6-4, and Kid Icarus Mining, $70, June 2019. Man, I wish About I Last summer. Those are auto cop for sure. Um, even at 70 with no box? Yeah. All right. Yes. Uh, Texas Pete still have a pair. Cop sold all three. Trash, I still have them, Stevie D. What? <laughs> too hot to handle smash i'd have to say money personal cop sell them for halloween hustle crow never found those i still have mine baker brand um mm. with cop blindfolded mr sports la <laughs> <laughs> uh sell them for halloween what are better foam posits or flight posits you gotta go foams but i guess it just depends on the colorway and the foams Kind of surprised these haven't moved, but I guess we'll see all the details when we look at the listings. So is that the last one? That is the last one. So let me go back to the first one. We'll see the official dates they came out and see how long it took for some of these to sell. Get this out of the way. On to the next one. No. Share screen. And here we go. Starting off with the Go Dome Boots. And right now, we only have 10 sellers, or at least 10 results by style code only. 149, 134, 198, 164. Let's keep going down. 154, 145, 169. Money. Yeah, everyone's priced high. 159 might be the lowest with free shipping. How many do you think have sold since January? I'd say 50. All right, let's see. Solds. 20. Oh. Wow. So this came out August 2019. Yeah, it must wow. have been gone from winter. Yeah, like, you know, like November, December. Yeah, that's, man. Because So the last one, May 5th, yesterday, 149 plus 17 bucks shipping. Yes, sir. Let's see, 135 pre-owned for $13. Yeah, that's just good money in general. <laughs> Shipping almost is uh, more than what I actually bought it for. 139, 139. Here's the low one at 118, size 8. 198, nice, size 10 and a half. And a couple pre owned, 170, March 11th. So, man, this one. And what was the price on this one again? $65. Five bucks. Tough sell now that it's going to be summer. I sold those on every platform, Mr. Sports LA. So, yeah, this one, this one was a good one. 
and I'm pretty sure. I mean, I know some people sold them for cheap because there was a flood on them. Yeah, I know some people got out of them probably within like a November December range. So. Yeah, it wasn't a real flood. It yeah. was. It was fake flood. Fun. Fake news. Yeah, for the chickens. <laughs> Next one. Here are those bread cleats. Eleven results only. Wow. One thirty-nine, two hundred, one fifty. Still got that Ross little plastic thing around it. But uh, I thought this came out of the foot sites. Remember? I think they did. Yeah. The cheap one, size sixteen and size fifteen, ninety-four and seventy-one. Size 15, I have it at 110. Size 14, size 16. Yeah, this is only the non human sizes that are. Yeah, the raw sizes. <laughs> yeah, the typical raw sizes that are on sale right now. How many things sold? 30. 15. Man, why is my prediction like half? <laughs> 12 and a half uh, sold for 134. Wow. 11 and a half, 159 best offer, nine and a half, 140 plus shipping. Mm. And those were the last three. Looks like April 11th, 12th, and 25th. Yeah, I think the ones with, 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 with good sizes, so really well. Yeah, so this one, this one obviously good, but even better if you could get a human size. I mean, nine and a half, 11 and a half, great stuff right there. Yeah, easily, because you pay what, 30 bucks for it? 20 bucks. They were 19.99. Giving them away from Ross. Next one. 30 results on the data mosh. Um, this one, let me see. This was March 2019. There's a boy. Uh, there's a boy right there. 100 bucks. Let me see. How many does he have? Oh, last one, size eight. How many do you sell? Uh, it doesn't say on here. Oh, 11 sold, one available. Wow. So out of stock of all the other ones. So we're talking about March, what, 2019? Over, yeah, well over a year ago mm -hmm. um, on these. And I'll go back. But even then, didn't some people say in the chat that they sold these for like 130 or right. something like that? So it looks like right now, like 175, 100, 100. Um, 90 best offer. 129. Well, another one for a hundred. I mean, to me, this this is just seems like uh, you know people are trying to get out of it. I would think. If you're po you know you're posting it for the hundred. Yeah. So yep. maybe they're just kind of tired of seeing them. How many do you think have sold? Twenty. <laughs> one. <laughs> no one. Uh, one. One on May third, three days ago. Is yes. This right. I mean, man, there's so many options with all the sneakers that, you know, that are on sale and everything like that. So, the rest is... Take off Adidas. And, well, style code without Adidas doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess we can do... What if we do Adidas data mush? Let's see. Oh, well, these are different colorways, though. Oh, they got, yeah. Uh, different colorways. There's one. 59 and a bid. And the rest are, man, look at that colorway. It's wild. And yeah, nothing else. So I guess that's it. I don't know what happened there. Uh, all right. So that one, I guess if you were like Ross Shallington, you got out early and you made your money, mm -hmm. then that was good for you. This is not a good patient hold. <laughs> <laughs> and MDs. Yeah, hit that like button, says Baker Brand. Hit that like button. We still have a giveaway. Hit that like button now. Before we even start getting to that point. Next one. There are those uh, Kyrie fly traps. 19 results. 75, 100, 119, 100. 75, 89, 109, 100. I mean, the best thing here, there's not a lot of them, but just get it. At, at, even if you did 100, these were $39. Get it to the hundred. Don't pay the fee. So we have one. Whoops. One, two, three, four, four, five people. So five sellers here 
All you got to do is put 100 in your set. No one else here will be lower than 100, and you don't have to pay your fee. Right. So. Yeah. Just wait another year. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many things sold? 10. All right. 10. 41. See, I told you. There we go. 145. You even get an autographed Kyrie card. P.E. They want that P.E., man. Let me see. Autographed card plus the shoes. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, 145. Yo, that, that autograph card might be worth more <laughs> than the shoe. $100, 100 I selling the card. That's what it was. He was selling the card. <laughs> You're selling the card with free shoes. Mm -hmm. 73, 89, 101. There we go. 120 for that one. Right. There's a lot of them here. 59 bucks, February 6th. So, yeah, that one. Fake autograph, Josh Brown. Yeah. I sold mine back in December at 130. No card, Stevie D. All right. So, 41 results on that one. Next one Project Rock Delta Green Colorway Only. Uh, Common Fan, 129. 135, 130, 125. I thought these would be maybe higher, no? Well, I I was asking 150 for my black one. Um, hmm. Well, for some reason, I guess, you know, because the first ones, I don't know which color it was, was really like 180, something like that up, up there. But I guess the olive ones, they made a lot more of them. Man, maybe. Maybe it's something to do with the colorway or maybe even the – I'm pretty sure the black and silver one is probably doing a lot better than this one then. All right. That's odd. Yeah, 94, 130, 215. I mean, there's some good ones on here that are still listed pretty high, but there's also some somewhat cheapies on here. Mm -hmm. Look at that one, 100 bucks, and that one's probably pre-owned. That one isn't, 109. Buy now, free shipping. Yeah, I See, guess – 130. I guess they come out of the outlets or something. Yeah, maybe more of them came out or something. So 50 results on that one. How many things sold? 30. 30 exact. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. You deserve another cookie. I know. 110, 159. <laughs> Best offer accepted. 105. Oh, last line. Ah, uh, last line. That's like the saddest part. Yeah, it is. Time for a restock. <laughs> Time for a restock. 135, 111. Hustle be at 249. <laughs> yeah, no. Right there. Mm -hmm. Damn, let me see. On 109 size 7. Hmm. I thought that would sell more than this, but how much were they again? They're 44.99. So not bad. Yep. They're 45 bucks. Beggars can't be choosers at this point. All right, next one. Here are those pesky Serena Williams bread <laughs> tennis. Uh, 73 results. And if we go back, this came out November 2019 for $40. And let me see, 72, 60 plus shipping, 75, 100 with box. Man, 62 with box. Yep. 90, 75, 105, 100. Mm, how, let's see how many have sold. What do you think? 25. 17. And the last, hey, 90 bucks. Size 11 and a half. 70. Best offer, 59. 48 yeah. plus shipping. That's crazy. Yeah, these are a little slower to move. I and mean, the good thing is you did get them for cheap at $39 if you did pick them up, but these will be a long-term hold. Where's that Jake? Where's that Jake uh audible right there? <laughs> Profits. Yeah, so 72, and there's some pretty low ones in there. So this one might be a little bit rougher. We've got two left. We got the LeBron 15 Black History Month grade school, 64 results. Um, 84, 96. Wow. Pre-owned doesn't count. Let's just do new. Uh, let's see. 96, 84, one on bid. Might want to look at that one. You might win. 39, but six days left. 98, 99, 
135. 90 buy it now. 90, 85, and seven wino box, eighty dollars. Yeah, I think ninety was the cheapest I sold this for. For kids. Let's see how many have sold. Twenty-three results. Last one, eighty bucks. So these were thirty-nine, I believe. Yeah, thirty-nine dollars. Um, you are still doubling your money once you start going to what ninety, ninety-six, ninety-eight. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Was there fifty-nine in here? I had sixty-seven. That one's pretty cheap. I let that one go. Fifty-nine plus ten shipping. It's about seventy bucks on that one. Let me see. I still have these Lebrons, Texas Pete. <laughs> I can't move other my LeBron 14s with a bulldozer. Let me see, ten dollar profit, Caroline. So yeah, this one I don't know. Some people have been moving them. I mean, ninety nine, another one at ninety. I guess it depends maybe the size and what happened there, but I think it's still a solid buy. Yeah, I mean, double your money, just gonna be paid. Uh, just the fact that this is kind of like an older LeBron ready, but yeah. Um, they're, they're, I mean, they're going to get harder to find. Last one. We got the Foamies in red. And let me see. Look at this one. 129 best offer free shipping. 19 watchers. Size 7. Someone. <laughs> People are buy this one. We got to get it to move. Man, 19 watchers. Like, that's going to sell. Like, yeah, someone. Just, come on. Just pull the trigger right here. Someone, send an someone buy it. Send an offer. <laughs> and an offer for you know 120 this would sell 129 199 199 153 i think that one's the lowest one size seven and a half and i do believe during this time we only found or most people found size seven seven and a half like either really small or really big mm. on the sizes uh 205 269 size 15 298, 240, or 149, 199, 139. Watchers laugh out loud from Hawaii Rams fan. All right, let me go back up. How many things sold? 20. Are these foamies, let's see. 16. Okay, okay. 129, size 7. 170, 10 and a half. 129, 7 and a half. Yeah, I think we gotta read this data as the ones that sold this for good money didn't get it at Ross. Yeah, because they have complete with box like 220, 224, they're like they're, 199. Yeah, they're human size. Yeah, they're really good. Even this one though, size 15. I don't know what the best offer was, but 100. they took some 100. <laughs> 100. 215, 175 at nine and a half. Oh, mismatch. Look at that. Men left 10 and a half, right? Nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely yeah, different. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, it's not even half a size. It's a full, it's a full size. <laughs> I know. Left shoe size seven, right shoe size 15. <laughs> Are you serious? No. <laughs> I was just saying that's, that's uh, might as well just do that at that point. All right, let me get this out of the way. Uh, this one, we're done. So we got through all those listings, removed from stream, share screen. Let's go back to our little, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> all right, yeah, me... You know what? I don't even know if I got the answer on here. <laughs> this is the worst. Every time, Glenn comes up with a question and doesn't have the answer. <laughs> Hold on, let me get this out of the way first. Let me uh... you believe. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, we're ready for the giveaway, damn it, and you don't have the answer yet. All right. And it's going to be a trick question, watch it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Giveaway time. Let's see who's ready for uh, easy 30 bucks into your PayPal account during this pandemic. Here we go. In order. Least to most, not most to least, least to most. And thanks to CDM Flips, District Deals, Super 6-4, and Rich Finds. Put these in order, and you will win $30. I got my answer here, so we'll see who, who's quick on it. All right, they're all coming in. Let me start from the top. 
Middle M, no. Brian, no. And J10. J10, you have won. That was an easy win. One, two, Y and X was the correct answer. J10, you have won. That was quick, too quick, too easy. So next week, we're going to have to mix it up. We're going to do like eight different photos. You have to put them all in a row. Right. Like a huge, long answer. <laughs> we're giving away easy money on here. Um, all you have to do is pay attention, put them in order, and you were done. So congrats on that one. And anything uh, else going on? I mean, who's pumped to go back to stores? Who's going to go to stores? Who's not going to go to stores? And Nobody's why? Pumped. Nobody's pumped yet. No. <laughs> Nobody's pumped yet because it may not be open in your area. Or it's not, you know, like there's it's gonna be stale items. Um I was I was joking at Glenn earlier that that everything that we're gonna be seeing of the outlets are gonna be the ones on the Nike Nike clearance store online. That is true, because we've been seeing a lot of the same stuff. Um, in vintage says, I'm curious about the type of inventory. Well, if you're that curious, tune in to this channel, Hustler Hacks, as we will dive deep into old crusty inventory that has been sitting there for a month and a half. And we'll see what's out there. Let me go back up here and see. I'm ready. I might with a mask. So ready. I'm ready for a Nike outlet. I'm seeing pumped and let's see. Stay and get it online from Patrick. Right. Don't go out there and get it. Let me see. Stuff at Nike outlets should have been at Ross today. Hustle and muscle. You think they'll stock up? I don't think they will. I think we're going to see the same inventory that was there before the pandemic happened and they closed. And I don't I don't even know when you think they're going to get some new inventory. Right. Or trucks delivering or anything like that. Have, they even said it that they haven't, they haven't opened their uh, buying station yet or something like that, right? Yeah. See, Caroline, I'll be at home watching you guys profit or not profit if I don't find anything out there. <laughs> um, I'll only be pumped for week three of Nike Outlet, Mr. Sports LA. Like we said, hopefully they'll run some sort of deal. They have to entice us to bring us in. Um, they have to do something to sweeten the deal to go to the outlets. True. Um, Glenn, are you going to visit Ross again because you miss her? I'm going to wait until they open. <laughs> wait. and be a little patient this time. It was too hard. But notice, I finally, you know, drove by, paid attention to Ross. Now they're gonna, they might be opening soon. I, I stayed patient for too long. They got the word in. They got to open up. Uh, weren't the trucks waiting to be unloaded, though, from Tyler is Green? Burlington said they did have trucks that were waiting to be unloaded. Mm. So that could be something. See, doing really well purchasing online, Mr. Sports LA. Yeah, we need that Ross clearance sale. Let me see, slow build. Don't know why people are gonna go ham. Gonna be the same crap. DVD. Yep. See, B, can you put a cookie on your forehead and slide it down to your mouth without dropping? <laughs> I've never been that patient with a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, with all the restocks of so the Fire Red Fives, Pines, DMPs, and Court Purples, do you think a couple of pairs will trickle down to Ross after the Nike outlet? Nope, nope, nope. You don't think any of those will make it? No. I could see Fire Red Fives going to the outlets. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought I thought you said you meant to say Ross. Yeah, he said Ross after the outlets, but oh, yeah, uh, could you see like her, uh, like Court Purples making it to the outlets? Um, probably not because it's Jordan one, <laughs> uh, but DMPs for sure. There's going to be a flood of returns. DMPs, fire red five, but going to Ross, I think maybe some of them will make their way, but not yeah. too many. Size 15s. What about those? Like what Jordan hair that was like, yeah, those ones. Well, I think everybody's just buying it. Uh, I think they're getting rid of their stock online because, I think there's a lot more people that are paying attention online now. So yeah. I think, you know, in my experiences, uh, we're just watching the online. I think this companies are capitalizing on that, you know, like you bump it $10 less and everybody goes crazy, you know? So 
So just like, you know, how Kyrie's are moving uh, fast online for like 80 bucks, 70 bucks. Um, you know, we've seen the up-tempo got on sale for 120 and all of a sudden it was gone. Yeah. So I, I think those are, you know, like, like I think companies are starting to realize that one, that, that there is that demand. And, and I, and I think the reselling and, you know, third party market is, is, you know, going up because of this. Yeah, definitely. And a Hawaii Rams fan is Foot Locker collecting shipments during this so-called pandemic. Um, hmm. Well, no, because Foot Locker still closed. Yeah, yeah, but but I think they're they're still receive. Uh, well, I know Finish Line is. Yeah. Finish Line is shipping from from different stores. Mm. Uh, as far as inventory wise, uh, I haven't ordered anything from Foot Locker. I don't think so because uh, they're one company with full action and champs, and I haven't heard any of that kind of uh, thing going on. Let's see. Go get a haircut first. I'll try. Um, you guys think Jordan 1 Chicago mids are going to go up in price? No, trash. <laughs> B's not filling them at all. I think if they were going to go up, they should have gone up after this episode because they're, that was like the closest thing to the Jordan 1 high. If they're not going to spend now eleven hundred dollars, yeah. Um, so if they do go up, I guess it's going to be a while. Um, black cement. If there's one shoe I'm going to wear for the rest of my life, it will be the black cement three right there. Let me see. Are I going to use that similar check or Ross? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Did hey, you get your check yet? Mine is on a snail mail. They said it got mailed out May first, so I'm still waiting for it. But just sold size 14 mid for 150, Patrick. Nice. Yeah, that's not exciting. Well, <laughs> wait, how much were they? 130. For a mid? No. Yeah. Okay, let me see. 120, I think. Oh. How much are this retail for mids? I got I gotta check. Let's see. Help to be restocked for Chunky Chips Ahoy. Great show. Hit the like button, everyone. Five dollars Baker brand. Oh, 115. Oh, 115. There we go. <laughs> almost scared me with the mid price 130 well even 115 well, after 10 for 120 easily <laughs> let me see i want the jordan six hairs smooth sailing so thanks for that baker brand we will donate the five dollars to the chunky chips ahoy foundation right uh, for the b since he's on his last little rack right there maybe how many are in that last little row like seven six no like only five <laughs> Did you get the family pack or the the yeah, giant pack? This is family size all day long. Ah, uh, family it's size. Hello in the corner. If it doesn't have that, it ain't special. Have you been sharing with your family? No. <laughs> I am my own family. <laughs> I don't even give this to my wife. <laughs> That's why it's here. That's why it's here because I'm the only one that uses this desk. <laughs> Let's see. B reporting from a decked out storage unit. Yeah, this is actually uh, my basement, uh, my unfinished basement that I kind of, you know, finished it up. I mean, made it beautiful a little bit, but this is actually part of the warehouse. So, uh, Patrick, so see, sixty five dollars at Ross. See, he didn't he didn't buy the mids from everybody else at retail. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. I, I got you. you. Uh, Lucas are at one twenty five. Lucas, I thought when we talked they were kind of up a little bit. When I checked them, they were pretty low. Look at it. Trash. <laughs> Every single see him like fire clean. He doesn't even have the Nike wings slow. I mean the Jordan Air wings logo on the side. And it's all white with yellow and whatever color that is. I mean with uh blue green. What's special about it? <laughs> Let me check StockX, because when I checked it, it didn't seem like it was high. Um someone said it was what 180. Enrique says 180 on GOAT right now. Let me check. Let me just see on StockX because what's going on. Luca, yeah. yeah, I'm at my heaviest uh, weight in my life. <laughs> and, uh, here we go, two forty four on the size eleven and a half. Let me see. Oh, I guess because I was looking at the small sizes. I thought smaller sizes were going to do good. Size nines at one forty nine. What retails one twenty five? Yeah, I told you. I told you. So I guess only the big sizes because eleven is at two nineteen. But the small sizes, even eight and a half, one forty eight, eight at one forty four. That's 
That's only like twenty dollars more than retail. Right. Kind of weird. Yeah, because because you have to think, there's so much ones that's gonna be coming out, and it still is coming out. Mids are gonna have a hard time uh, competing unless these mids are like OG color. You know, like the black toes are not even like the black toes. You know, like they always gotta make something different about it. And the quality is just crap. Why would somebody pay 150 200 for a mid? Well, they can just spend extra 100 bucks and get a nice, legit one. You know what? Let's bring it up here. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even know those bottoms were purple. <laughs> yeah, one's purple, the other one's green. So size 8 right now is what I was looking at. So last one sold for 140 uh, lowest ask at 144. Let's see how many asks right now. So size eight. Look at that undercutters by a dollar or two. Um, five, three, five, and two. So all less than 150. We're looking at 15 pairs size eight. So I mean, are they going to go up? What do you think? Yes, no. The chat says they are going to go up. I think they can go up, but I don't think they're going to go up that soon. I think they will go up, but why would you put your money on mids? You'd rather buy like one pair of turbo greens. Okay. I'd I'd rather pay two fifty for the for the bread uh, for the royal toast. And let me see. Let's go to. So see, ten and a half is kind of like what we really changed. Now we're going into like two hundred. So two hundred, two hundred three, two hundred nine. I think actually right now, I mean ten and a half with four at two hundred. If you scoop those up, and kind of wait it out a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not saying this is not going to go up. This will definitely go up. But I would rather put my money on something else than a Jordan 1 mids. Mm, okay. like, like, that's it. Like, I'd go with a proven and tested way of how money goes up than gamble in the mids where, you know, yeah, Luca's going to be a good player. He's going to be a great player. But when's that going to happen? Luca's not going to be the most dominating player within the next three years. So there you go. There's your money holding on for three years, and you could eventually you could make the same money on other Jordan pairs or Jordan one and flip it within a year. I think I do agree. There's other things you could probably flip on, but I do see. I mean, Luca is rising though. Like I think a right. lot of people like him. If you but get this easily, yes, but still. I think that's the only thing, like you said, is that it's a mid. I think other than that, you're once hundred percent. I mean highs. If this was the high, hundred percent. Let me see what what is court purple looking at right now. All right, so my size we're at two twenty. Let me see. Size eight, we're at two fifty seven. Um let's see. I'm kind of surprised though, because well, they've restocked a lot. Like I think that I think this one you'll have more profit here on the next year or two than the Lucas. Hmm. So you're, you think you'd rather invest in this? Oh yeah, hundred percent. See what all these little dollar undercutters. Watch, watch, watch Lakers go play again, and this one gonna go up. Let me see. Luca top ten second season. Zion shoes are up. What about Jordan one lows? How do you feel about that? Lowest. Why do people like purple? Because LeBron is in Lake is playing for Lakers. Let's see if there is one more court purple restock. Well, that's a crazy thing. There's so many restocks, but we're still at 257 for right. size eight. Now let's look at a nine. 240. Yeah, because this one you could have bought this before for 220. And then once you start going, of course, these sizes, well, like my size and above, 220, 214 for yeah, size 30. So that's what somebody said. I mess with lows. You'll probably make more money with lows uh, than the mids. Let's see. B, you're right. The highs are so hard to get. Yeah, in a way, but Discord purples are, is restocking a lot, too. Look at What are the other Jordan 1 we wanted to look at? Oh, the pine well, green. Well, well, if you're comparing the highs to mids with Lucas, Lucas are so hard to get. True. Um, what happened to Pine Green? So we're at 220 right now, size 8. Right. Size 9, 210, lowest ask. So 212, 213, 214, 215, 11 of them on here at 215. 
Would you be patient? Hold on this. Dang. Look. And that's way more than I thought those. There's a lot of pairs for this one. Um, yeah, th- I see. I'd rather do the court purple than this one just because of this. Uh, I don't, for some reason, I don't know why they did that wings logo like that. Yeah, if they did it the other way around, it would be, it would be, it would be doing better. And I because, think because some of the sport might even still have some. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, because the leather on this is actually better than the court purple 2.0. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. They, yeah, the next week or two when when this release, they still had my size nine in store. I almost bought one, but but um, I was gonna buy one, but my Foot Locker kind of like twenty dollars off expired, so I wasn't really gonna pay retail for that. I guess. All right. I Next one, the NC to Chicago. Let me see. Well, I guess it depends because we have to do the conversion since it is a women's size. Right. So it would be like 10 and a half would be a nine. Okay. So 10 and a half would be a nine. We're at 214. How much did they retail? 185, uh, right? 170. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think this is a clean shoe. I mean, if they did, if they made this in men's, I think this would have done a lot better. That was probably the only because I think it's. I mean, obviously the quality is good on these. Yeah, it's well, it has all the Jordan One highs, you know, requirement, right? Like, it's definitely not court purple feel. It's better. Um, I don't know. Maybe it had to do with the box. <laughs> <laughs> with the box, I think because it is a women's shoe, it kind of threw it off. Like, I've seen some dudes that have, like, a paranoia that, like, oh, these are women's? Like, I really don't want to be seen wearing women's shoes. Oh, uh, no, that's trash. <laughs> Those restocked at Shoe Palace today. Hustle Crow. Size 13 and a half and up are good flips. Yep. Especially size 15. Yeah. Because <laughs> they didn't make them. Um, <laughs> yeah. But but I think, I you know, like, I just haven't been paying attention, but I wouldn't mind getting this in my size. To me, it's a quick flip on those. Mr. Sports LA, uh, smooth sailing. Ross was kicking butt before the pandemic. I know they were on a roll. Now they can't even pay rent. <laughs> now they got five. For some reason, I guess their second month, I mean, their what? Their April's rent was $5.5 million all of a sudden. <laughs> Here we go. No. Let's see this chart. Size 11. It's it's well, not size eleven, so my size, but I was yeah, it's really not creeping that high yet. But well, even going through these little amounts, it doesn't look like they're creeping that high. But two sixty nine to three sixty one is a big deal. Oh wow! Within th- two weeks. Yeah. Um. Let's go back to. Everybody got their money. Let's see. Size eight. We're at four hundred. Ridiculous. I, I I was like. I had to stop myself because I was looking at a used one for, for 300. And I was like, I had to remind myself, like, you don't like blue. <laughs> Look at these bad boys, 400. So three, two, I mean, a couple of undercutters here at one pair each. Yeah, no wonder why all those Asian buyers bought everything for 350. Yeah, they bought those quick. 450, there's 12. There seems like there's still quite a bit out there, though. Um, 500, but you're going to be a while to get to that 500 point, but let's see. I mean, if you have the capital, let's say B, you have like, I don't know, 30 grand, Mm -hmm. would you start buying some of these off? I would, the max I would pay for this would be 350. Okay. So you're done. You wouldn't even touch any of these. Not anymore. Because, because at that point, like. You're you're competing with other OG colorways already, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you're competing if if because if you pay 400 for this, you gotta at least have what 500, you know, to to sell this off and make decent money. But at that price point, you're competing with band ones, royal ones, uh, you know, shadows, um, and I, I and I think this is not there. Let me see, Jordan one. Obsidian wants us to look at the grade school. Uh, so grade school, we are at uh, five and a half or at 400, six Y, three, 92. 
Let's look at 6Y and just see how many asks. Uh, we're at 292, 293, 295. Keep going on these. Yeah, there's still a decent amount on the grade school. But damn, like 400 bucks. The kid shoes. Would you, would you, if you had that capital, would you invest in any of the greed schools? Not at this point. B, where do you hide your 30 grand? <laughs> Fast. My, uh, let me see. Broke. Any requests on anything people want to see? Yo, look at Shadow, Shadow once and see what we said. Okay. Shadows. Was that 2018? Yeah, 2018. So size nine, we're at four nineteen. Right. And man, that's still a long, you know, you're barely doubling your money for two years. Yeah, it's still and there's still a decent amount in size nine left on these. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see, next one. Let's see, Jordan one, where are they on here? Bloodline. Should we look at Bloodline or no? Not yet. It's too early. It's too early. <laughs> Spider Man. I keep going up. Let me see. This patent one and Shattered Backboard. Let's see that one. This the Shattered Backboard. Let's see, Shattered Backboard, size 9, 309. Yeah. Well, because it's the third alliteration. I mean, and it's trash. By the time Halloween comes rolling around. Yeah. Maybe when Bengals go on, Bengals go undefeated or something. Bengals of Joe Burrow <laughs> go undefeated, and they start selling. Uh, let me see. What's the other one? Oh crap! Journal one. Oh, we're gonna see. Oh, what happened to this one? What? Fearless. Yeah. It it crapped on itself. <laughs> so what was the problem with this one? Well, it's a clown shoe. <laughs> it's a clown shoe. Yeah. 176, 177. I think that the only issue is like giving people certain. I mean, like you said, you made a great point. Like, if someone's going to spend 400 right now, right? I mean, what are they going to gravitate towards? You'd buy, you know, shadows. Look at a royal once. I mean, because like this kind of shoes don't know their identity. <laughs> half they're blue, half they're red. So you know, if your bloods or crips, you can't wear that. Let's see. A royal toe, two fifty size nine. Oh, uh, this will be a best time. I mean, I think this would be it. Let me see, two twenty nine size eleven. And then you better buy it if you if you want it. So here's the thing, though. Yeah, let me see how this Saturday goes, and. How many, let's say even, let's say these go down. Let's see, right now, let's look at that. So average sales price, 279. So retail, 170. Let's say these go down. People start undercutting each other at like 220. Right. You start buying them? Yeah. Buying a hold. Buying. Yeah, buy a hold. Yeah. All right. So if you have all the capital, buy a hold. Catch, catch this for 220, you know, after shipping, be what, close to 250? Um, that's where that's what because this this release is going to be so tricky because I believe some of the some of the inventory are going to make it to the stores, some won't. So we don't know how many really is going to be released online or how many have they shipped out already, or maybe they didn't ship it out to stores knowing that you know, knowing that this is such a re late release in all the you know. They've known about Corona since what, early April. Yeah, I don't think many stores will be getting these. So I think there, I mean, there should be good restock. Right. Um, how much to home? Yeah. DVD wants us to look at or yeah. district deals. Uh, district deals. Oh man, I I remember these. <laughs> these are the Oxen Hill. How special. long ago was this? How long ago? Yeah. Uh, they released in uh, May 2018. Their first out, out hustle in DC. You got your size right, size nine. Yeah, I I I got rid of them at like 400. Uh, the, look at mine, size 11, 380. Yeah, you got. 
Me, man. I wish I was size 11. <laughs> I do not like this shoe. I hate this whole half and half thing. Why? I don't know. I just... just you, feel, like... you just got to walk side view all the time. Well, I think... <laughs> You know what this is good for? This is a good collection piece. Because if you put it on the one side, you got Chicago. You put it on the other side. <laughs> like I said, two and one. <laughs> Smooth sailing. Uh, look out for eBay. There's going to be – I did see that eBay is going to not only restock on the Jordan 3 UNC, but some other ones too. So look out for that. Uh, let me see. Oh, Turbo Green. Turbo Green is like exploding. You didn't sell yours yet, didn't you? Uh, I did sell some, yeah. But I never had I never had anything below the small side I had was a ten. Oh. Um I still have some left on some of the like the bigger sizes, but still three seventy eight, three fifty. I'm gonna see all right, so size nine, four eleven. How many are left? Two, one, 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 a bunch of these ones. You should definitely uh, are you keeping one for yourself? Yeah, I have one for myself. Yeah, I mean that's. I think that's that's your color right? How do we? Let's see. One as it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So twenty-five pairs below five hundred. Yeah. So basically, say like thirty pairs because people will have multiples of them. Yeah. I just gotta buy all these, and then we're down to these. Five, six, seven, fifteen, seven, ninety-four. Uh, thirty bucks times uh, thirty pairs times four hundred is your average, right? Yeah. Dude, that's what we need to do. We need to uh, we need to uh, call Uncle Warren, and since he sold off all his billion dollars worth in airline stocks, we should ask him to short some of this inventory. Yeah, look at that. All the ones that were below five hundred. That's what we need to do. We need to find somebody rich, and then we'll just short the inventory of size nines. <laughs> you got to short the inventory of all. Yeah, what about of, size twelve of all of all size nine, uh, kind of like good Jordan ones. Look at that size twelve. One, let's see, three, four, five, let's see, seven, ten, twelve, fifteen. So about 17 pairs to get to 500. And then you got three left. Yeah. You own it. Call Uncle Stevie D or District Deals. Call uh, Glenn Call his buddy Gary V. <laughs> yeah. He's buying cards right now. Yeah, he's deep in the cards. Yeah. Perfect. So Ooh. crazy. So good luck to everybody on the uh, Royals. So hopefully. Man, I'm going to try hard. I'm probably not going to yeah. sleep all night. Do what you can, even if you get them on StockX for a low. If people start undercutting each other, 220. you have the money, do it. 220. Yeah, you got the money. You got some capital. And if you can hold on, do it. So let's say if you put like two grand worth of money in there, you could get what? You know, eight eight pairs and then but if you spend two grand at the outlets and quick flip it <laughs> you double it. that's exactly what i'm saying don't buy hype shoes guys don't buy hype shoes oh <laughs> and i was going back don't buy hype don't buy hype shoes just wait till nike outlet opens and then just buy all the 50 to 60 dollar pairs and then sell it for 100 no fees you'll you know, get your money back within 30 to 60 days. None of that. Hold it till next year, next, next year. <laughs> that that That's wrong. That's wrong. And then the next week, we'll be like, how many of them did you get, B? He has like 10 in the back, like a nice little stack. Well, we'll try, right? We can't, we can't hurt because we can't do anything. <laughs> All right. Very true. Right. All right. Appreciate everybody hanging out and you see what kind of stores are opening up. So look out for that. I'm going to see what I can do here um, to get some other videos coming up. We can kind of see what kind of inventory is out there and I'll keep you posted on the stores that are opening up and you let me know as well. B, anything before we go? Don't buy hype shoes. All right. Go ahead and get it.